We're on a flying trip today, and we flew down to Lee Bottom Airport. We're just south of Hanover, Indiana, and we met up with Sam Lyons. And Sam, you're well known in the aviation community for your artwork, and uh, been doing it a long time. Sam, what inspires the artwork you do? Well, number one, coming to a place like this, which is a lot of fun, and I bring my camera, needless to say, walk around and take pictures of all the neat airplanes that I can and, you know, add it to the stack I already have that's about <laughs> this tall of all the photographs I've taken. But, uh, it's it, you know, coming to these things is really what turns me on about aviation and doing the paintings of the airplanes and stuff. Well, what's interesting, Sam, is you actually make your living doing this, but you do it all in the realm of aviation art. Well... I've always loved aviation. Aviation, uh, my dad flew in World War II, flew B-24 bombers. So I really, uh, from the get-go, have enjoyed airplanes. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, we, my dad and I built models and stuff, and so we had a great time with flying model airplanes and things. And then uh, when I guess I was maybe probably five years old, my dad uh, went out to the airport with me and got me a ride in a, in a Stinson that a friend of his owned. And, uh, you know, I can remember looking out the window of the Stinson going like, boy, this is really cool, you know, and I guess that's when I got hooked. Your art, you're self-taught. You didn't major in art. No, I majored in biology, of all things. And uh, But I, I always liked art, and I remember running into my old college roommate uh, after several years of being out, and I was doing this, and, and uh, he said, you know, I look at what you do, and, and I look at... Uh, think back and he said I remember you used to make A's on all your lab book drawings when I draw the dissected things you know and he says I think you figured out what to do with that you know which way to go so so that was really neat you know where do, where do the ideas come from well you know I do a lot of commission work for people and sometimes people will come up and they'll tell me that uh, they have something an idea of what they may want me to paint and uh, they want a couple of maybe a uh, an airplane here and a building there or something like that and they send me pictures and I put things together for them or I'll come to a show like this and then I will uh, uh, photograph airplanes here then I'll have a building or something that I liked an old gas station or a, or a store country store or something and I'll put them together and make us make a scene out of them you know so I like the nostalgia mostly and I like to do a lot of nostalgic looking scenes and stuff and it's, it's always good when the people let me run with the ball, you know. They say, yeah, it's kind of what I want. You have fun with it, you know. So they'll give you an idea, but give you full artistic freedom. If they do that, it's best. Yeah. And you know that. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. There's a painting that's kind of dear to my heart, lost in the 50s. You're really known as the master of reflections. I mean, the actual detail work, yeah. Sam. I mean, when you stand back, many people think your art is their photograph. Yes. And with this back when I had the hobby shop, I ran into a guy named Ron Gress, and Ron Gress uh, was an airbrush artist, and he, I mean, like, he painted uh, the models for Star Trek and stuff like that that they used in the movies and things. I mean, he, he was great with that, but he also did great paintings, and so we were doing a little um, demonstration of an airbrush that both of us used at a show, and he taught me how to do a reflective surface. And when I saw that, and I went like, oh, yeah, I can do this, you know. And now every time I look at a reflective surface, I see what he was talking about. And I put it together in my mind and can, you know, do like the, the P-51s or the, or the polished aluminum Swifts or 170s or whatever, you know. So it's kind of interesting. Sam, many artists have a hook, uh, <laughs> something that they always do in their paintings. And people who know your art... There's something they always want to look for. Tell us where that came from. Well, I have a 1951 Chevrolet pickup truck, black pickup truck. And um, I needed to restore it way back when, and I started restoring it, but I couldn't do the cosmetic work on it. So I just didn't have the where for all at the time to do it. So I said, well, one time I'll just, I'll do a little painting of the truck in my painting, and so give it a little token paint job, you know. And I did it in a couple of paintings because it kind of fit and stuff. And then people started seeing that in the, uh, 
in the paintings and then they started asking me every time I do a painting well where's the pickup truck so then I started having to put it in the pick you know the end of the paintings and finally it became like one of my trademarks so now if you look at any of my paintings you can find the pickup truck somewhere in the painting so you have a website yes we're at lionstudio.com l-y-o-n-s-s-t-u-d-i-o.com and everything's on the website we just up actually right after Oshkosh this uh, year upgraded our website and it's uh, a lot more user friendly and uh, we got a lot more visuals on it now and and also uh, my wife Mindy puts out a monthly newsletter that if you go to the website you can sign up for the newsletter and it basically just tells where we are where we've been like at a show like this where we are now she'll take photographs and do a little log and so the next newsletter it'll have pictures from this show um, of you know people we met people we talked to and uh, what's going on where we're going to do what's what's new coming out you know that kind of thing every year you have a big display at Oshkosh and also Lakeland Florida at uh, Sun and Fun that's correct yeah we we have a big presence at both of those places you have artwork around the world Oh yeah, yeah. We we actually have uh, one couple that comes. They come about every three years. Uh, they'll come to Oshkosh. You know, they always buy something and take it back to take it back to Australia. You know, and uh, we have people from Germany, uh, South Africa. We just sent two uh, canvas prints to uh, a guy from, that we met at Oshkosh from Singapore. And something special coming up, Sam. The state of Georgia has the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame. Yeah. And uh, I wanted to bring it up. It's coming up soon. You're going to be inducted. I believe the first artist yeah. to be inducted in the Georgia Aviation Hall of Fame. What an honor. Oh, tremendous honor. Yeah. You know, I, I go and I look at the people who are in there already. And I mean, you know, uh, General Robert L. Scott and, uh, gosh, all these great people. There's astronauts. There's, you know, all these aviation pioneers and and stuff and and then here's lowly me <laughs> who's getting to be in the aviation hall of fame I, I know your artwork can be found in some military installations yeah it's uh i belong to the uh, air force art program so it's uh basically in a lot of uh air force bases and stuff i do paintings that i'll donate to the air force art program and then they will uh keep them in in a log and if a, say a general or something wants something for his office he can go to this uh, inventory and pick out a painting and and have it brought to his office so it'll sit there for the time he's there and, and then he it goes back into the system and stuff you're you're in the atlanta area people can come by your studio right we live on a little grass strip just north of atlanta in woodstock georgia and uh it's called air acres and uh you know if anybody wants to fly in it's a 2200 foot grass strip and they can call us and we'll give them the high twos to get in and out of there. It's, it's a real honor to talk to you and have you on today. Great, great show, great to be here. Just uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, appreciate it.